This is the Ohm's Law class lab. In this lab, we're going to take a power supply or power source, schematic symbol, looks like that, and we're going to connect it to a single resistor. There's the schematic of my setup. I'm also going to want to measure the current through the resistor and the voltage across the resistor to prove the relationship of Ohm's law, V equals IR. Voltage equals current times resistance. To measure the current, I'm going to use an ammeter. That's a meter that measures the number of amps, or a current meter. So in order to measure current, I have to place my meter in series with my resistor. In order to do that, I have to disconnect the wires connect it to the resistor and place in series my ammeter. That's what it looks like in a schematic diagram. To measure the voltage across the resistor, I need to place my voltmeter, the meter that measures volts, in parallel with my resistor. So one side of the voltmeter is connected to the top part of the resistor, and the other side of the voltmeter is connected to the other side of the resistor. So again, to measure current, my ammeter is placed in series. To measure voltage, my voltmeter is placed in parallel. This is the schematic drawing of my setup, but to make it more clear how to connect your meter, your ammeter or your voltmeter, I'm going to draw a picture of those showing the wiring. The ammeter needs to be connected in series. So that means the current that is leading the power supply must first pass through the ammeter and then through the resistor. They must be in series. They must share the same current. So from here, one wire will go to my meter in the A plug. A standing for amps. Then from the common plug or the ground plug, that returns back to the circuit so that whatever current is flowing out of my power supply flows through the meter and then through the resistor. They're in series. They share the same current and I can measure them. Here's my setup with equipment. I have my power supply, my resistor, and my meter. I'm going to connect two wires to the power supply. It is conventional to use black for the negative and red for the positive. Both wires are electrically the same, but it just helps us to keep it straight, which is connected to what? Black is negative, red is positive. To set up my very simple circuit of a power supply and a resistor, all I need to do is connect either side of the power supply to my resistor, and my circuit is complete. However, if I'm going to measure the current, I have to measure it in series. So that means I have to disconnect my circuit and I have to add the power supply in series. So I'll connect one, excuse me, the meter in series. So I'll connect one side of the meter to the power terminal, the positive terminal of the power supply, and the other side of the meter I will connect to the other side of the resistor so that now the current leaves my power supply, travels through my meter, out the other side of the meter, into the resistor, and back to my power supply, completing my loop and completing the circuit. Here's how we set up our meter to measure current. The black probe, as always, goes in the common plug, or ground. The red plug now goes into the A for amps. I'm also going to set my dial to the yellow region of the dial uh, that it has an A with a straight line. That's for measuring DC current. I'm going to use the s dial setting that says 20M slash 10. The 10 indicates that I'll be able to measure up to 10 amps, and you see that I have resolution to the tenths of amps. 
In other words, in increments of 10 milliamps, my display is in increments of 10 milliamps. I can get a better resolution than that if I use the milliamp plug. However, we cover that up with a piece of tape. We're not going to use it in this lab because it's too easy to accidentally run through too much current through the ammeter and blow the fuse. So to prevent having that happen, uh, we cover this plug up and we only use the amps plug. Now I'm ready to measure current. Remember that the current meter, the ammeter, must be connected in series. To measure the voltage across the resistor, it's very simple. I need only to take the probes of my meter and touch them to either side of the resistor. Each of those probes connected to a wire to the meter. One wire is connected to the common and one wire is connected to the V for volts. Then the display simply reads out the voltage across the resistor R. Measuring voltage is much easier than measuring current. I place my voltmeter in parallel with the resistor. There's no need to disconnect any wires. All I need to do is take the probes of my voltmeter and touch them to either side of the resistor. Now my voltmeter is in parallel and my voltmeter will read out the voltage. Here's how we set up our meter to measure voltage. The black probe always goes in the plug labeled COM. That stands for common or ground. The red plug for voltage measurements goes into the plug with the V for volts. This is the connection of the probes for voltage measurements. My power button is the yellow button. I turn it on. And this knob for DC voltage measurements, which is what we're using in the Ohm's Law lab, we want to use this region of the dial down here that is blue, that has V with a straight line after it. That stands for DC voltage. Depending on the range of your voltages, you'll want to choose the range of voltages. For this lab, we won't be going higher than 20 volts, so set the dial to the blue 20. Now my meter is ready to measure voltages between 0 and 20 volts. When you place the probes across the resistor, if you make sure the red probe is on the same side of the resistor as the positive su power supply terminal, then you'll get a positive reading. If the probes are switched and the black probe is on the side of the resistor that is connected to the positive terminal of the power supply, you'll see the same number of volts appear in the display but with a negative sign. The negative sign just indicates that the polarity of your probes is switched. For the most part, all we care about is the magnitude of the voltage, not the sign.